especially woody type structures that when something burns, especially in the desert when it's dry, that when it burns, it burns pretty quick. It usually doesn't stick around very long. A minute, two minutes, half, two minutes maybe, and then poof, it's gone. It's like, you know, paper mache, woof, it's gone. But this particular bush doesn't burn. I mean, it's burning, but it's not being consumed. And so this guy turns and looks, and when he turns look, he hears his voice that says, this is holy ground. Take off your shoes. And of course he freaks out and he takes off his shoes because I, wouldn't you? I would. <laughs> <laughs> he has an experience. Are you still not convinced? Oh, all right, all right, okay, hold on. Hold on. Right, there's another story that I love this one. Jesus is hanging out, right, and he's teaching, and this really, really large crowd shows up. Okay? There's like 5,000 of them. What that means is because it was a, uh, because it was a uh, male-driven society, they didn't count the women and the kids. So if you ask the women and the kids, it's probably a little more than 10 grand, 10 grand, 10,000, 10K, whatever it is, 10 grand, that's funny. And, and so there's lots of people, and they've been there all day, and his disciples are worried because they don't want liability issues. <laughs> that was a joke, by the way. So they, they don't want liability issues, so they come up to Jesus and pull them aside and say, Oh, Master, hey, listen. People have been here all day. They haven't had any food. We need to send them away. Let, just let them go. Go into the surrounding villages, you know, and, and do the thing and buy some food because we don't want liability for that because somebody will sue. You know, it's true. Somebody will sue us. And, you know, they'll come after us. So Jesus says, well, you feed them. And they're, they look at him with this astonished, dumbfounded look. You've got to be kidding me. We don't, all of us combined don't make enough money to go buy food for these people. Are you nuts? Jesus says, well, what do you got? And so you kind of know the rest of the story because he takes loaves and fishes and he divides them. And he feeds 10,000 people with a few loaves and fishes and they take up leftovers. 